Not in the MDVA Summit, I don't think. Bobby Big Balls, it's never too late. <laughs> Bobby Big Balls, you're definitely qualified. If you want to play, just hit us up. Hit my line. Um, yeah, so this is an interesting set because while Laud, it will be typically favored over Bobby Big Balls because of things like that, where Bobby Big Balls dies off the side of the stage, Laud is on his first tournament with the box controller. So the sort of technical uh, execution that we expect from Laud may not be on lock. So we'll see him be doing smart, good player Laud things, uh, but we're not going to be sure how his gameplay might be affected if he's less capable pulling different uh, maneuvers off with the new controller. So I think that gives an opportunity for Bobby Big Balls to uh, to take it and move on to Winner's Finals where he'll be facing off against Zane's Fox. And you know, what you know about Lud is that he's very passionate about learning the game and he's very good at learning the game. He has that growth mindset that, you know, mm -hmm. will allow him to possibly pick up the box and be effective on it more quickly than other players. That's right. We would be remiss and also uh, upset Lud if we did not mention Lod's Guide to Improvement, which um, is readily available on Lod's Twitter. I believe it's his twin pins tweet, which will teach you uh, how to improve a framework for growth. Which, you know, you too can be Lod, and who is also in medical school. So, I don't know, maybe you read the, read the guide, you become a doctor, top 20 in the world. I don't know what it claims to be. I'm not, I'm not making any guarantees, uh, but that's the sell, I guess. Lot is this good while in medical school. If you read his guide and you're not in medical school, you could probably be double Lot. <laughs> if you just gave up the medical school, you shoot up to number one just like that. Oh my gosh, Lot making the really, like, the correct read, but he doesn't uh, convert off of it. That is so box Lot, where, <laughs> where he reads that Bobby Big Balls is going to roll to the right and he dashes all the way, but he doesn't grab. Like, I did, I knew it was right, but I missed the execution. Yeah. Uh, Even on the box, uh, Lot is holding a pretty sizable lead after this is going to be just a full stock lead. Uh, he definitely still crushing uh, a lot of these float mechanics that he's known for. Mm, yeah, absolutely. And, and the thing that you'll notice also, especially because he has Dreamland, a lot of space to work around, that Lod's float heights are going to be really uh, tough for Bobby Big Balls to, like, they're in between the, the heights that Bobby Big Balls is going to threaten, you know? They're going to be a little bit over laser. Oh yeah. my god, Bobby Big Balls. Actually disgusting combo. Never mind. What was I even saying? It doesn't matter. Because he uh, gets that edge cancel down there. And we just have like another close game ahead of us. One to one in stocks. Uh, a missed dash attack while Bobby Big Balls just running the other way. Yeah, I don't know what, how easy it is to like input Peach's up tilt, but it actually turned out to be kind of good there. That's a big forward air, and I think that's it. Just grabs the ledge. Lod takes game one. I think we're going to see a Pokemon Stadium. Quick fair. Quicker ledge grab. Insane. Uh, Lod it definitely showing up, even on the box. That's right. Even on the box, uh, pretty, uh, pretty tough game one for Bobby Big Balls. Uh, he definitely did have that really low percent air dodge off the stage, but I think that um, like Lod is going to still give him, they still have giving him the problems at low percent, um, like aerialing, and also Lod has this really good stage control that I think is really hard for Bobby Big Balls to contend with. Um, I mean, it's, it's the thing that Peach is good at, right? Is like threatening large areas of space around her, especially in that float. Peach is good at it, and Lod is great at it. Definitely with this technical control of the stage. Yeah. Okay. One up me, that's fine. <laughs> if you disagree, you think Lod is bad, so you have to agree with me. That's right, of course. Uh, going into Yoshi's, I think this is pretty, like, pretty... Uh, it's a good pick. Um, because Peach is going to die away earlier, obviously, but also... Um, it's a bit of a double-edged sword because just as we were talking about, Connor, that uh, Peach can control that stage really well, there's just less stage in Yoshi's. So she's going to be able to threaten way more. And those spaces where Bobby Big Balls is going to be able to take refuge are that much smaller. 
Yeah, but you also see uh, a, a bit more sporadic behavior on Yoshi because it's so small. Maybe you can find these these more random, if you want to call them, entrances into neutral by Bobby Big Balls that'll allow him to get some quick kills like he just did. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think that that is a bit of a hope. Um, however, that does rely on basically saying, Lod, your wall is going to have holes. Uh, which, you know, what is, is more up to Lod than, than up to Bobby. So we'll see. Wow, okay. And sends him just far down enough that Peach cannot recover. That's a big stock. Very close to being able to recover there by Lod. It was uh, insanely close. Maybe you blame Yoki just a bit, but Lod started to take a bit of control, and then Bobby gets the quick grab. And by control, do you mean down smash? Whoa! Reversal on that, but Randall is still there. Lod lets go of the ledge to maybe cover Randall, but Bobby Big Balls takes ledge instead. Big boon for Bobby. Just to clarify, control and down smash are synonymous when referring to Peach. <laughs> oh, it's it's it with a double hit control. <laughs> yep, that's us. Things that we say. All right, 100% uh, for Lod. Pretty much a lot of hard hits are going to kill here. Down tilt, I think, will even kill. Um, you saw Bobby Big Balls charging an up smash. Even though it is Falco, I think that kills as well. Um, and then definitely a strong bear. But Bobby has to be really careful to not be fishing for it. Uh, being desperate about... Okay. Yeah, okay, so he, I think he nares out into a down smash. Soft nair into down smash. Pretty sick conversion out of the corner. And now he's got a pretty big combo, too. Yeah, Bobby didn't even have to fish for it there. Law jumped right on top of him. And now Bobby has complete control. Let's see if he gets oh, Dare. Bobby. I think it's Scar Jump. Scar Jump down here, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, it did look like of just a few crucial punishes from Bobby Big Balls. Um, and like you said, Connor, I think he he found just a little bit of those cracks in Lod's uh, in Lod's defensive play. And I think maybe I would have to go back and see, but certainly I bet some of those um, some of those spots are uncharacteristic of Lod just because of his uh, his controller situation right now. Definitely, uh, I think Yoshi definitely paid off there for Bobby and Lod brings them to a longer stage in that FD. Yeah, I was uh, I was just about to say I think we might see FD. So um, you know, of course the the standard pick, but I was about to because of the chain grab, the up throw chain grab that Peach has. I was uh, I'm curious to see whether Lod can do it uh, with the box. I think that's going to be the big determiner. Uh, of who's going to win this game and probably even the set because of how important game three is um, for counter pick advantage on game five. But that said, um, that said, without up throw chain grab, if Lot is not able to do it, the neutral for Falco um, gets, a, gets a lot easier. And there are way fewer mix ups that Peach is going to have um, if she just burns her flow, right? She has to like, she picks an altitude and she sticks with it, you know? And we almost got a preview there of the up throw chain grab, but they were just extremely close to ledge there. I, I think a lot of what you have to be worrying about if you're on the box is getting the muscle memory down for doing these uh, these techs or these these movements that you're used to. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, and without that muscle memory, like we might be seeing Laud. I don't know if he's gonna stick with um, the thing that he wants to do, and uh, even though he might not be executing perfectly, or we see him adapt his game plan a little bit. Oh, but it looks like he's just gonna do the tried and true for this one, especially that close to the stage, just getting that nair off uh, with Falco at that pretty good percent for an edge guard. Uh, that'll be enough. Yeah, and he wasn't able to get the correct Firefox angles. Uh, not, not bad, but it. <laughs> It, it was just a couple pixels, Ooh. okay. Pixels, like... indeed. It is a game of inches, Connor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Lod misses that by inches. <laughs> that, yeah, the down uh, smack was almost there to hit, too. And it was just like a second too late. A, a fraction of a second, even. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Connor, I do want to point out um, when you see, maybe not right now, but when the percents return to a little bit more of like a, uh, a stable range for these two players, the float range from Laud, right about here, 
Oh, that was crazy. Okay, I'm gonna break that down. The float range that Lod picks is right above short hop laser range, but below full hop laser. So in order for Bobby to threaten Lod's approach inward, and then there's a stitch face. Ooh, yeah. brief Ooh. moment. Okay, reflex it away. Bobby played for... that very well, and now we're waiting for game, but I guess we can talk about what just happened. Uh, ah. the, the, the pressure from Bobby going against the stitch face and the the shine coming Wait, out. Which... Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, sorry, go ahead. The shine coming out. Yeah, the shine coming out, just block it back at him. Uh, insane by Bobby. Heads up maneuvers, I would say. Yes. And it uh, looks like he I, might be going back into it. I Maybe. think what happened there, Connor, I'm reading I'm reading that that was a rage quit. Um, because by, by Bobby. <laughs> I'm definitely reading that that's a rage, rage quit. Uh, oh. Just because he... Because yeah, of the down smash. Mm -hmm. So that's your prediction. Not reading as in you can see a uh, a message. Oh, I, I'll I'll take a look, but I'm pretty sure that, like, yeah, yes, that is my assumption. Mm -hmm. uh, let's, let's check. Possibly, let's check. you never know. In high level of me melee, you just get that passion that yep. you don't okay, get so, in life. Yeah, lot is up two one. Um, uh, going into going into game four. Bobby Big Balls is going to have counter pick advantage, and I believe that's going to be Pokemon Stadium. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Bobby Big Balls, while known for his uh, volatile play style, I think maybe some th sometimes we see the volatility of the person coming through as well. Um, mm -hmm. And going against Peach, that is a test, especially Lod's Peach. Um, getting hit by a dash attack is like, I need to be playing better. I need to not be getting hit by dash attack to beat Peach at all. And to be beating Lodge Peach, definitely am not going to win it if that's going to happen. And uh, you could definitely so feel the misery that Bobby was feeling on FD. He was not having fun. I, I would say, I would extend it to even like this per first part of the game. Like, look at what he's doing now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, the, just the, just the, okay, lasering, top platforming. This sucks. I don't want to get down smashed. Um, I don't want to mess up my tech and get grabbed or just like eat a fair and die. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to laser. We're going to stay on the top platform. And, and I think that's your well spotted when you say you can feel the rage. It, what's rough in the matchup is for Bobby, at least you can't play the way that Bobby wants to play. Yeah. You can't you can't be this like hyper aggro Falco or just gonna get uh, repeatedly punished for it and you have to play this patient way. You're just being held back and you're like, let me let me out. <laughs> I, I need freedom. I wanna play my single player game. Exactly. I'm playing Falco. When I open you up, it's my turn. Uh but you know folks, melee is a transaction. <laughs> it's a conversation. Uh but yeah, you're exactly right. It's like if Bobby is Bobby I think is accustomed and really desires to play melee in a, in a certain way and uh, things that I think that maybe he sees as lame or like rewarding play that he doesn't respect like how much percent down smash yeah there you go uh, down smash does is can be really frustrating for him um, and, and, and I think we see that in the play that said I think that when Bobby rage quits a game that does not necessarily count him out. There, there are times when, like, when he is losing and starts to play, like, quote, serious, uh, where, like, he, he actually is just playing better. Like, tempering his aggression is probably going to have better outcomes for him. And you don't have to necessarily see it as a rage quit. You could see it as a, a forfeiture, a preservation of mental and wanting mm -hmm. to move on to the next game before it gets worse. You know, put yourself in just a, a, a clean slate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. As uh, if you if you're a if you're a grind lord like Bobby Big Balls is, who is always playing, constantly playing every single day, maybe you only have a, a certain amount of you have a finite amount of energy to give. And if uh, if playing this peach is sapping it for you, then maybe skip skip FD. And it's, you know, it's paying off for him on, 
Battlefield right now, it's definitely a bit more even than the FD game. You're gonna have to see if Bobby's able to close out. Laud is obviously playing very well as he has been all set, but this is uh, Bobby's winner bracket life in the stock right now. He need to hold on. Yeah, let's see if Laud can uh, maneuver through the lasers. It just gives you so much more versatility as the Falco when you have these ledges to play on. It makes it uh, less easy for Laud to just hop over these lasers of yours. Mm, yeah, although like it adds a little bit of uh, dimension for counterplay because it does give Laud a lot of like different height variations as well. Um, I think a little bit more intensive on the Peach when she has to play like that. Uh, but it's definitely not doomed. Oh, that turn up barely doesn't miss. It is do or die right now for Bobby. Lot is pressing inward, but a Nera out of the corner saves Bobby's stage control. He's still on though. Bobby playing super safe. And you have to, you're at 100% as Falco. Ooh, and he just barely misses the up air. I am so tense right now for the opening. Peach is not dead. Let's see how he uh, edge guards. He doesn't, he's standing lasers and I think, oh my gosh, I'm expecting, yeah. I was about to say double laser or side B from the ledge. Oh, Ooh, and the <laughs> Nair coming out from Peach, the quick exit. Clean your hands of that set. Walk away from your computer. Uh, Lot was able to take the set 3-1. Uh, pretty incredible play on Lot, especially since with uh, how new he is on the box. Yeah. Maybe he's not I, going for these, uh, these like riskier edge guards that he might have gone for on the controller, but still pretty, pretty great play. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely like a lot of that's that's the good player fortitude coming out.